that whole thing. Jay Sadgurudev to everyone. Welcome all of you. My name is Saman Prakash and I've joined you from Kenya. So Jambo and Karibu, you know, from Africa to all of you. On behalf of uh, the Global Meditation Challenge team, I am really, really delighted to welcome all of you to our session today. As we like to extend our thanks to all our sponsors our regular attendees of this session, and all the newcomers, those who have joined this meditation challenge. And lastly, our global team of members and their family to grace this occasion. I welcome you all in the special online global meditation challenge series. And today is our 26th day of meditation challenge activity. As you all know, we are making this challenge easier by providing quite a few interesting activities conversations, talks, sharing of insights with all the participants. And today's agenda, my friends, is quite unique. And I say it's quite unique because today we will shift our dimension to the need and importance of giving back. You have been practicing breathing. And in breathing, you inhale and then you exhale. You take one and then you give back one. That integrated is the process of giving as per the nature's law. We will be speaking today to one such amazing team from Sadafal Education. I'm really, really looking forward you know, to speak to the experts who have joined us today from this glorious organization. So if you ever doubt yourself of what you can do alone, I would highly encourage all of you to stay focused till the end of the session and hear it out. As we all know, today is 26th day. So let me share the details of the session and the agenda for today. So we're going to start with uh, Swagat Gan and Mangal Gan. For those of you who are joining us, uh, you already know that this is the way we offer our prayers. Then we'll move to the discussion on Sadafal education. As I quickly briefed you, that's going to be a 40-minute session. And a quick word of thanks from my side. And we close the session, you know, with uh, with with prayers for peace, shanti part, and closure. So I think we are we are now uh, good to get into the session. Uh, before that, I would like to quickly take a few more minutes and and give you a very quick brief. If you have joined us today for the first time and you are not aware about Vihangam Yoga, Vihangam Yoga organization is an NGO. It's a pioneer in yoga and advanced meditation training uplifting the human life in all aspects. The organization was established in 1924, so we are roughly about to complete 100 years by His Holiness Sadhguru Sadafal Devji Maharaj, who discovered this wonderful meditation technique after 17 years of strenuous meditation practice. Today, under the guidance of present Sadhguru Dev, His Holiness Sri Swatan Devji Maharaj, Vyangam Yoga has reached around 45 countries globally and has transformed lives of more than 5 million disciples. Our international headquarters is situated on the banks of Holy River of Ganges, or what we call Ganga in Prayagraj in India. Vihangam Yog is affiliated member of United Nations. It's under special consultative status with Economic and Social Council. While we all connected here for Meditation Challenge, I also like to share that the largest center of Vihangam Yog is being constructed under the name of Swarved Mahamandir. Mahamandir Mandir basically means a place of worship, a place you know, where we come and integrate ourselves for those who have joined us from outside India. It's a place where you get together to meditate. It's located in the spiritual capital of the world, if I can say, which is a place called Varanasi in India, where 20,000 spiritual speaker, seekers can sit together and meditate. So we strongly recommend and encourage you to visit this great place, which is under almost the final stages of its construction and feel the spiritual vibration. So I think with those introductory remarks, uh, uh, let us start you know, the session. We're going to get to Swagat Gan and Mangal Gan. Uh, we're going to offer a welcome song and a small prayer for world peace and prosperity. The prayer will be displayed on the screen in Hindi and English both. And to offer the prayer in the holy feet of the master and get the blessings for this session, I would like to invite 
Mr. Likesh Naik, who is joining us, you know, from 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 Muscat in Oman, has been associated with the Hangam Yog for many many years. is a very ardent disciple, um, a, a very ardent follower and a practitioner of Yangam Yog. So everyone, please join uh, the prayer. Uh, I request uh, Likesh Ji to take us through. Thank you very much, Shimanji. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, everyone. Let us invoke the Eternal Master with the welcome prayer, Swagat Gan. Aaj swagat nitya guru var Shant subhagam aaye Adhyatma vidya divya jyoti Shomar sabar saaye दोष दूर गुण दूर करिके सुधान सब नाईये भेद गम गति ज्ञान गर जन शक्ति द्वार हटाईये खुले द्वार शब्द सागर भक्त जन अनवाईये जन सदा फल विश्व शिक्षक सान आन बचाईये आज स्वागत नित्य गुरुवर संत सुभागम आईये सदगुदेव की के मंगलगान विश्व शांति नाम मंगल परम गुरु को ध्याये वर्ग द्वंद अशांति दूर कर भाव भेद मिटाये शार्व भौम समस्ति सत्ता ध्यात्म राज्य बनाईये भेश भाषा भाव जग में ज्ञान पर दर साईये समृद्धि शुख शांति धरातल स्वर्ग भूमि बनाईये विश्व शिक्षक जन सदा फल नीति स्वर अपनाईये विश्व शांति नाम मंगल परम गुरु को ध्याये सदगुदेव की जय थैंक यू मेरी थैंक्स लिकेश जी फॉर द स्वागत गान एंड मंगल गान एंड इनवाइटिंग यू नो दी दी ब्लेसिंग्स एंड द इंस्पिरेशन ऑफ of Sadhguru Sadafal Dev Ji Maharaj. Now, I think it's time now that uh, what we've been waiting for is to get into the discussion straight away on Sadafal education. And it brings me, uh, it's, it's my actually, you know, uh, immense happiness, you know, to, to, to look at the names on the screen today. Uh, Shekhar Kishore Ji, Mr. Robin Rajan and Mrs. Rita Shivasa. So first of all, you know, what is Sadafal education? What are the initiatives in progress? There are so many things that are going in my mind, at least at this point of time, and I'm sure for those who have joined us. But I think to decipher, uh, you know, this entire concept, how it started, what happened, how it has progressed, I would first like to uh, bring all of you on board, you know, and introduce Mr. Shekhar Kishorji uh, from the panelist. Uh, just a quick brief, you know, on, on Shekhar Ji. Shekhar Ji is a, um, is a director of education. He lives in Australia. He has over 30 years of experience in managing large operations 
and international hotel chains across multiple countries. Shekhar has led and managed various vocational education and training institutions across Australia, which is what you know, brings him here. And, and with an in-depth understanding and experience in the quality of frameworks of skill-based training, he is now guiding the educational initiatives and programs, um, and which is again the reason why you know, he's going to lead us through these discussions. He settled in Australia and has been involved with Sadasfal Education since its inception. Is as good as you know the co-founder of, of of this great glorious institution. Um, so Shekhaji, without much ado, I like to I like to welcome you to the forum today, and and really looking forward you know to this discussion. So over to you to lead us you know uh, on on this session. Thank you, Simanji. Jai uh, Sadgurudev, and good evening to everyone who is uh, available today to to understand about Sarafal education. Uh, it's an absolute honor that. Uh, we are able to talk about a mission which, uh, which started with the inspiration of none other than our Holy Master Sadhguru Sadafal Devji Maharaj. Uh, it is his inspiration where he says in Surve, Sukh Shanti Sab Ko Mile, Ye Upadesh Hamar, Sara Vishu Hamar Hai, Ham Hai Sab Sansar. And the message board which we have all grown up hearing that uh, if you are able to serve the humanity, uh, that is the ultimate seva you are able to offer to anyone. So with that inspiration, uh, Sant Sri Namdev Ji Maharaj gave us a golden opportunity to work on the vision of supporting the most needy in the, in the community. So we went about uh, the concept of starting Sadafal Education uh, first initiative was done in Raipur and uh, in Raipur we started off a vocational training institution uh, which was recognized through the local government there and we were offering courses in hospitality, plumbing, carpentry, cooking and various types of courses we were offering over there. So it was a, a good start for us. At the same time uh, I was really fortunate that I got this opportunity to engage with the UN officials who came over there to see our progress because uh, Sadhguru Sadafal Dev's Vyangam Yog Sansthan is also associated with the UN Habitat and UN ECOSOC in various capacity. And they wanted to come and see what are the programs we offer. So it was a, a fantastic opportunity for me to be a part of that. Uh, that is back in 2010. Uh, as we continued after a few years, uh, our focus moved towards moving to other programs and going rather than being in the city, go to the uh, regional and rural areas uh, at the grassroots level. Uh, so we, we did a lot of uh, research and uh, we will talk about those details a uh, little bit later of how this was done. So before I go into any further details, <laughs> uh, rather than talking about myself, I would like to first talk about the two pillars who without whom the, the Sarafal education would not be what it is today. With blessings of Sant Ji Maharaj, I got associated with Robin Rajan, who is also acting as a director of projects for Sarafal education. Robin lives here in Sydney. He's a legend of the hospitality industry and uh, the, the amount of experience he brings uh, in terms of not just the hospitality industry, but also education and training. And that with his absolute passion to serve people without any expectation, absolute selfless service. When I say absolute, it is actually absolute selfless service. Uh, and this is the biggest blessing Namdeji could give me that I came in touch with Robin. And uh, through Robin, we came in touch with Rita Ji, who is also in, uh, completely devoted towards education and training. Over 30 years, she has spent in Mumbai working for large education groups and uh, working with uh, disabled people, working with for women empowerment. And I, I, the list goes on. <laughs> what, what brought us all together 
Uh, this is very important for us to understand before we go into the concept of sadhafal education and how we are able to do it is that all of us wanted to serve and we got this golden opportunity from Sannamji Maharaj who said that if you really want to serve, go to the places where nobody wants to go. And that's how we shifted our focus rather than being in the city of Raipur, moving away to the rural village. So we, Rita Ji will give you more details and Robin Ji will provide you details of how we came to this place uh, where we decided uh, to start our center close to it's uh, the outskirts of Varanasi, a village called Keshripur. So this is where we have started our initiative of Sadhafal Education Skill Center in Varanasi. But Sadhafal Education is not just limited to India. Our mission, our goal is entire humanity and global and the political or the geographical boundaries are not going to limit us or restrict us. So again, with the inspiration from Sanandaji Maharaj, we also took this initiative and started Sadafal education in Kenya as well. And Simanji has been the pillar of strength, guiding spirit for all of us in the local region of uh, Kenya. And uh, with his guidance and with his support, we have been able to start. So we made a start. We trained some local girls who again came from underprivileged society, part of the community, and we helped them learn office administration skills and they have happily grown in their life and doing very well in their personal careers. So that also gives us a great inspiration to do a lot of things. So I think uh, for me, it is very important to uh, allow Robin and allow Rita Ji to, to explain in details of how this concept of Sadafal education was transformed into a reality on the ground in Varanasi whilst we are sitting thousands of miles away. And the, the only two things I can see is one is the blessings and the second is the passion of both Robinji and Rita Ji uh, who have taken us to this level that today we have so many graduates who have come out and they are happily looking after their families and, and doing so well. So I will now hand over to uh, Robinji to take us through and uh, give us give us his input of how he came on board Sarafal Education, what was has been his motivation, and how he's taking us forward. So, Robin, being our project director, I'll hand over to Robin to explain more about it. Thank you, Shaker, for your kind words. I don't know whether I deserve all that, but first of all, pronoun to everyone, namaskar, uh, greetings from Sydney to everyone. It's an absolute pleasure and absolute privilege to be here today sharing our experience and also sharing our thoughts about which direction we'd like to go from now on in. Um, uh, very briefly to begin, I, I had the absolute blessings, uh, privilege and honor to come across um, <clears throat> Sri Namdeji Sarkar uh, in 2016. Um, it was the first little short journey that I had with him, taking a car ride from Mumbai to, to uh, Wasai. And in that few minutes of that ride, in fact, beginning of that few minutes of that ride, I very much tried to gather as much as I could uh, and understand the vision and mission uh, Namdeji Sarkar has, particularly with re regards to um, you know, entering into a field where I believe the uh, organization that he represents and the institution, the Sansan that he represents for sin, for decades and decades have done a lot of unbelievable work as most of you might be knowing or the ones who do not know. Um, what really stands out from all that work that they've done is as Shaker rightly said, that one specific word and that is Seva. And I think that specific aspect of what he talked about, uh, about his uh, institution and also about the decades and decades of what uh, the institution has done for, for, for some, you know, hundreds and thousands of people uh, throughout the country and also probably other parts of the world too. 
Um, what he specifically said was the main reason that I got completely motivated to be part of South Africa education. He said, it's one thing about giving them, sheltering them, giving them uh, boarding and lodging and giving them direction, uh, support in that, uh, that way. But he says, most importantly, what we need to really get on with in life is to try and give them provisions where they have a possibility of getting livelihood. And that particular aspect is what really, really stuck to, to, uh, to my, to my uh, head. And I just thought this is an opportunity that I was waiting for all along. And to, if I can just very, very uh, humbly bring my father in here, because um, my motivation also goes back or inspiration goes back to my childhood, because uh, having grown up in Mumbai uh, from a very ordinary middle class family, with all the challenges and all the um, difficulties or hardships that he had to bring us up, uh, he still found time uh, to do whatever within his means he could actually provide in terms of local community support. And one of the things which really stood out and he talked about it a lot to me was to do something where not only it's a, it's a contribution, a seva for a day or two, but it's a contribution that you can do in a way that it can actually be there for, for, you know, for a very, very long time, probably forever. And that particular support that he got involved was about a, establishing a school from a, from a little room for a kindergarten school. Uh, it actually, with that humble beginning, it actually went up to a length of coming up in the last 60 years uh, in, in, in the part of Mumbai, Kolvasoa, uh, where from that beginning, they ended up being a very established, not only a school, uh, uh, a secondary school, but they actually ended up having colleges associated with that same school. So with very little support, very little uh, financial help, it was all done by a group of people who actually thought the actual seva starts on a community level. And when Sarkar mentioned this to me, I said that was music to my ears because that's exactly what I always had an, a, a sort of a craving for, looking at an opportunity where we can do something and give back to the society. And more than anything else, if have being an Indian living away from India for almost 40 years, uh, we always feel, and all of us uh, living, pretty much all of us, and I'm sure, Simanji, you, you'll share that thought with me, is that um, we, we've got so much out of that country, not only just being born there, but we also got our basic culture, our bringing up, our basic education. And I think it is, it is very, very, uh, uh, you know, a privilege if you can somehow give something back in a very small way. I mean, what we are doing is probably a, 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 just a drop in the ocean. But I think when Sarkar said that, first thing he asked me whether you think you want to be part of setting up something in the in, in, with South Africa education, and it'll be mainly to the rural parts of India. So I was totally, totally... Uh, totally motivated from that particular day onwards. And I, I just asked him if there was an opportunity, especially in the vocational education side, I'll be the first person to be uh, interested in putting my hands up for that. Um, and then on it was, you know, the rest of us really history. Um, I got to understand uh, a little bit more in detail as to what he wanted to get on with uh, and which part of uh, India that rural India that he wanted to uh, get on with and try and uh, engage in uh, places where there, there's an absolute need. Um, so then we actually got on to um, identifying what are the places that we, we are looking at. Uh, before that, we also most importantly try to understand what are the areas of vocational skills that we can actually impart in form of training. And we thought we'll do a little bit of research um, and then I then go on to the next part of identi identifying locations. Um, while this was all happening, I was extremely, extremely uh, fortunate. And again, I would say privileged to have known someone 
from almost my childhood who had the opportunity uh, of getting uh, the exposure that one would like to have to get somebody on board who has the, uh, not only the passion in terms of education, but also in terms of that unconditional support uh, when it comes to, to, to sort of, uh, you know, in any form of seva that, that, that could be provided. And I, I was very fortunate that I could, um, and actually it didn't take me a lot of time convincing to do. I actually mentioned this to Rita Ji, whom I just said, I know from my, from my childhood, we've, we've got close family relationship and we go a long way. When I mentioned to her, she really was straight away putting her hands up and saying, I'm more than happy to come. My first question to her, which is what something Shekhar Ji mentioned earlier, whether we are prepared to go into the places where rolling up your sleeves will not be as easy as it is in the uh, urban, you know, urban uh, parts of the world. Um, and she said, that will be something which will be like a dream come true for me. And I'm more than, more than willing to go. So when I talked to her, uh, got her on board uh, with, of course, uh, the support from Shekhar Ji and Sarkar, that is how we actually got on to formulating this into a, uh, a, a you know a, an education structure and then then um, on then it was steps small steps that we actually uh, looked at doing one at a time um, then we came to a point where we started identifying as to what would be the areas of education that we're looking at to start off with and secondly how are we going to be researching as to which location should be uh, looked at in the beginning. Um, when we decided uh, that we are going to go into rural parts of India, uh, it was also, uh, Sarkar Namdaji said that there will be, uh, it'll be an easy thing to start off with an area which we are familiar with. And he said Varanasi would, outskirts of Varanasi, there are lots of requirements. How about we look at that? Uh, the next thing that happened was Rita Ji took off from Mumbai. Uh, I probably didn't mention that. She spent her entire career and her childhood in Mumbai, but she was willing to take a trip to uh, Varanasi. And from then on, it was her, pretty much, if I can use the word, her baby, uh, where she started nurturing this entire um, um, Sadafal Education's humble beginning. So we actually got on to sending her to Varanasi and from Varanasi she started researching as to what are the villages that she would like to go and have a look um, and then press has been history. Uh, the amazing part and I'm, before I hand it over to Ritaji is that we did all this uh, discussion and all this towards 2009, uh, middle of 2000 or beginning of 2019 but when it came to actually implementing it we actually got on to that uh, village where it all started in Keshripur, uh, just towards the end of 2019, as you all know what the world had to face from the beginning of 2000, um, uh, 2020 rather, COVID struck us and we all were very, very apprehensive about how we're going to get on with this, uh, the entire project and the entire vision and mission that Sarkar wanted us to step into. But believe it or not, in that peak of COVID is when we actually started this whole journey. Um, it had a lot of challenges. It had a lot of hardships. But as Shekhar said, end of the day, if you have the passion, if you have the will, and if you have the desire to unconditionally do something in life, um, I think nothing can stop us. And with the blessings of everyone uh, in, in this institution, especially from uh, Swamiji and uh, of course, uh, Sri Namdeji, because he is all along there supporting us, giving us the guideline, giving us the direction. So with all that, um, it had began. And I think we can not look back and just go full steam ahead to do more and more. I think we can add on a little bit more about what our future plans is, but I think this point in time, I've done a lot of talking. I'll hand it over to Rita Ji and probably she can give you a little bit more insight and then we can uh, take uh, Shekharji back into talking a little bit more on the future as well. 
Thank you very much for the opportunity. Welcome, Namaste. welcome, Rita Ji. Ji. Thank you so much. Uh, Namaste, good evening, everyone present or watching us from Sadaful. Uh, um, like, uh, first, I should be thanking Rahulji and Shekha Ji for getting me associated with um, Sadaful. And, like, uh, I won't be taking much time in explaining that, but um, I would uh, really say. Rohanji rightly said that was a challenging time and that was not only a challenging time during the COVID when we started our Sadafal Education Skill Center at Kesaripur. But at the same time, it was a motivation for me actually. Uh, it, what was my, uh, our intention rather um, saying mine, alone, that is uh, the objective and the goal of empowering women. That is what was in my mind. And the support that I got from Sadapal, that was a motivation to start this at the COVID time. Uh, the reason was uh, that was a time when uh, there was no job for anyone, even if there was some online jobs for them, but because of no skills, uh, they could go ahead. So after going through a lot of challenges and coming to know that uh, we should, uh, we can start with Varanasi, which is my roots. Though I have been born and brought up in Mumbai, but I belong to Varanasi. Actually, uh, a small village, Johnpur, and I have gone through the uh, what the girls were facing and what difficulties were there for the real needy ones, those who even if they wanted to go ahead, could not go because of no support or no skills with them. So this was the thing which motivated me the most. Okay, that Yes, this is a start and somehow we managed to locate this. Uh, we, we went around to so many villages, but Kesaripur was a place which, uh, I mean, when I went to individually convincing uh, to the people around and all the real needy ones when I went to them and uh, I spoke to them, hey, what do you think uh, if we give you some skills? And uh, they said, aise to hota hai ke log aate hai, they go away like this. So that was one of the other challenge for me. In fact, the first challenge to me, okay, uh, many people came down and they said, okay, we do such things, we do seva and we support, but uh, nothing of that sort happens usually. So we, uh, I mean, I spoke to Robin G and I found that place was really the place where uh, people needed some skills around because there was no skill set. So I spoke to Robin G, Shekhar G, and uh, Sarkar, of course. Okay, these are the need of the uh, art that was giving some skill. And the need of that particular place was the skill which was the need of the society there. I mean, at Keshripur, I could not do with uh, admin work or something. They needed the basic, that was the stitching, which was the need of that place. So the stitching, the girls could even after learning the basic skills and advanced courses, they could do some, they could earn some livelihood at their homes. So we started in September, on September 7, 2020, we started with two courses at Kesaripur. Uh, that is one was the stitching and sewing we started with and the computer skills we could give them. Uh, the challenges were there to convince the people to come down and all. But initially, it was for, say, a few days. But later on, we got a very good response from there. And then uh, we came to uh, facing the awareness of why bring things uh, in proper order, that is, planning how it should go on, 
how the uh, courses will be carried on, what courses will be introduced in our computers and stitching. So all that planning was done. It was um, shared with my team that locally I could uh, find the good ones over there after much of research work there. I could find the local ones who really needed the job. But uh, they, they were not educated enough, nor did they have the confidence enough to come forward and start on their own. So they became my trainers and I could carry it forward. It was a bit difficult in the beginning. Okay, how will I go along uh, like the way the quality should go into it? It was not only giving skills to them, but giving skills in the right way, in a proper, the quality education, the skills should be given to them with the proper planning of syllabus and the patterns and everything was done. Though initially it was difficult to convince my team, okay, uh, you should be uh, making the proper syllabus. So we cut down and, and somehow they got convinced. So we have the syllabus, yearly syllabus of both the courses running with us. Yearly, which is broken into quarterly, and quarterly is broken into monthly, monthly is broken into weekly, and then the daily. So this is how we did the thing. Um, and uh, let me thank the uh, Sadapal Dev, provided me with all the resources and everything was there in place. Now coming to the, how, how do I do the planning? So how do I monitor? Because uh, though I keep going every month to Kesripur, I, I be there for 10 to 15 days. But even then, the rest of the 15 days, how do I monitor them? So we, I started having, I start with, I still have it on. Every day, I have daily briefing with the team. All uh, then, how, what work they'll be doing today, everything is planned put up on a platform, we created folders and which is shared on a shared point. So there, he, not only me, but uh, all my directors and the chairman, they can also view what exactly is happening day to day. So those things are done, then the accomplishment is done at the end of the day. So we are aware that where did the team face any difficulty, or uh, they, if they did not, so was the accomplishment done or not? So everything is put up on our SharePoint, including the regular attendance is put up, the receivables are put up, the payables are there, the petty cash, everything from day one, 7th of September, 2020 till day, everything is put up on the platform, the folder, the share points that we have. Then not only this, the planning and giving education is only not looked after. Giving skills, we have a quarterly three months course it is. If the child wants to go to the next level, they can go to the next level also. And throughout this uh, the three months course, we have already Till date, we have graduated 200 students already have been graduated from our institute. And we have a very good number. It's always between 60 to 60 and 70. The strength has always remained uh, between 60 and 70. And not only the skills are looked after by the uh, and uh, the management and us, we see to it that the students have some activities also. So every Saturday they have an activity to do, uh, whether it is a debate or it is a basketball or it is table tennis or a kabaddi or whatever. So that Saturday is for them. Once in a month we have a meeting with the parents, where it is known as an open house, where the parents are called in, or the guardians of these students. Though we do not have uh, uh, small children coming to us, but they are all grown up. But still, we want the, even the parents to come down and see where their boys are studying, 
what they are doing and what is the atmosphere of Sadafal Center. So that's one reason and whatever suggestions they give us, maybe there are few needs which we may not be aware of or if they want us to introduce something more. So that's the reason we call in the parents every month. Every day I have a meeting with the team every month. Uh, the management has the last Saturday of the month, the management has the uh, meeting with the entire team. This all is recorded. Everything is there on our SharePoint. Then we, uh, every six months, we keep a graduation ceremony day where the you know, students are uh, given the certification of honor, what, uh, an appreciation of what they have done in what grade they have passed out. And during that graduation ceremony, we have a great function where our students, our stitching students, the students, those who are in the stitching course, they showcase their own talent. Talent in the way of a fashion show, where they dress up uh, with the dresses they have created, they have prepared. So that is what they showcase on the uh, annual, this graduation ceremony day. Besides that, not only giving skills there, we see that some livelihood is created for them. So we all are working for, uh, we have a, a case creation. We have created a case creation where all the garments made out of, uh, by the students, by our own students, they are put up on the case creations which soon we are thinking of marketing also, for which uh, Robin G and Shekhar G and all others, I will request everyone else also to please help us out in marketing them. And so that our students get a livelihood, they can not only learn, besides that they can create products for the, the society and earn some earning for themselves. And for this, we, for other students also, those who are not interested in stitching or something, even, uh, even the students still interested in stitching, they, we have uh, uh, organization, a firm, I should say, a telecall firm has come forward and associated with us. They have, uh, they have agreed to give employment to our students, those who are interested in their calling centers. So that is how we are doing this work, where our students can get, even after the skills they have learned, they can get employment outside also, if uh, through us or through anyone known to us. So that is how we help them, not only giving the skills ends there. How do they carry out? Because all of them cannot have work at home. So that is how we have planned. Not only that, the local weavers, they have come forward trying to give some work to our girls, like uh, doing the finishing of the saris, the Banarsi silk saris. So the finishing and the cutting of those threads and everything is done by our students. So from there also, they begin give them some amount where they have their livelihood running. Uh, rest, I think I have covered almost everything. Uh, now I can hand over the mic back to Shekhar Ji if I, and Robin Ji. If I have missed out anything, please let me know. I think Rita Ji, you have given a very good uh, Both you and Robin have given a clarity about uh, how we came to this uh, stage and how we created Sadafal education with blessings of Sandamdeji Maharaj and which direction we are heading. So for any educational institution, there are a couple of things which are the fundamentals. A, who are your students? You need to know the students. You need to understand their individual needs. You need to understand what is it that we can help them with, which can give them a livelihood, a career in life. Then you have to come up with a setup 
you have to come up with uh, the the method of delivery you have to give them opportunities of practice and you have to give them the right resources the right structured manner of training so all of those things with our experience of working in the international marketplace and is specially focused on vocational education which is about hands on skills uh, we have been able to collectively bring all of these uh, skill sets into sarafal education and uh, this humble initiative what we have started off with it has already started to uh, become very well recognized in the local region we are very fortunate that we had the visit from uh, uh, senior officials uh, from uh, nabard senior officials from uh, from the niti ayog and uh, other the government department yeah so they are all taking interest to understand how can an institution which has not taken a single cent from the government single rupee from the government is able to do and make a transformation in the village they came and they spoke to the villagers itself and they gave the feedback so my my main thing which i would like to say here is that uh, behind the success of this institution passion hard work everything is there but the essence and the real essence and the soul of this institution success is our combined desire to serve the seva which is where the sansthan uh, stands the stands for this is what vihangam yog sansthan stands for uh, it gives you the mool mantra of seva and if you are able to do seva without any expectations uh, help comes from everywhere so at this stage all i would like to say is that as rita ji explained about case recreations robin has been putting a lot of effort into it what we have done is this is being created as a platform where our own students who are learning the skill they are able to showcase their skill sets and the garments or whatever they design those things can be sold in the commercial market and it will be done through online portal or whatever way robin is going to finally take the decision on that once we have come to that conclusion uh, we know that whatever proceeds comes from there is for our students they benefit from it and whatever funds are there it supports our institution's growth of enrolling more and more students so i won't take too much of our time i'm mindful of we have crossed our pretty much close to where we need to be so <laughs> i'll just hand over to robin if you want to mention anything otherwise siman ji maybe you would like have any questions you would like to ask us all three of us over to you yes thank you thank you uh, shikhar ji robin ji rita ji it's been very insightful to hear your uh, your journey of of how uh, you know uh, sadafal education has got to where it is yes i do have some questions and these questions are purely from the uh, you know perspective of uh, of some of us you know as as seekers you know uh, in the process of seva uh, i would first you know uh, like to understand and maybe i can direct you know each question to each one of you so that you know i can we can get a more broader perspective you know about uh, some sure. of this uh, questions that have come in uh, shikhar ji tell us a bit more you know about if if you want to know what kind of activities of sadafal education is going on uh, currently uh, how do we get to know about those activities Uh, i think uh, the, we have a public website called sadafal-education.com and okay. if you go on that website you will notice that we have provided a lot of details of the different activities we are doing uh, about the skill center about the types of uh, uh, garments our students have created you can see those pictures on our website in the gallery we have also done a lot of work by recognizing we we organized the event for women's day where we recognized uh, those women who had contributed immensely towards the upliftment of the society so we welcomed some of them they came over and uh, we uh, sanand ji maharaj was there to to welcome them and to uh, to give them the the respect what they deserve so these are certain activities so basically our activity is not just about we are not just a educational institution as such we are a place where everybody wants to come and connect with us and we want to join the communities together 
just to give you an example, the types of students we attract, these students cannot even afford or think to go and enroll in any courses. And we and there have been instances where up to 80% of the students were like that, but we did not give up. I would like to quote one particular incident and, and Rita Ji is the testament to that because she was the one who took the decision on the ground. There was a girl who was disabled. She came over. She said that I wanted to enroll and obviously she did not have the courage. The one day when Rita Ji was there, she came to see her and said that I want to study. And Rita Ji asked her, so what do you want to study? She said, computer, but I can't afford because uh, I'm disabled and my father can't afford to pay the money. Rita Ji immediately said that, don't worry. We will enroll you. You enroll in the course you want and you succeed. That is the biggest pleasure for us. And we have so many examples like that where people are coming forward. So what we are trying to highlight here is that whilst we are trying to bring the international level of educational techniques and styles and capabilities and methods to the ground, but our roots always remain about Seva. And it is only through this vision of Seva, this, this uh, vision we are able to succeed and we know that we are going to grow. So the website, coming back to your question, the website is the place where we provide all the information. Very soon you will see that we will be having more information on the Sadafal Education Facebook page as well. Uh, so okay. they're not going overly out, but yes, these are the places at the moment you can get the information. Okay, Thanks. excellent. So for everyone on this uh, on this session, you'd like to like, know more about our uh, activities going on. There's a website and I request you know, the team to probably, you know, roll out their website link, you know, after the session, uh, you know, on the meditation challenges group for all of us to go through. So coming back, you know, uh, to you, Robin Ji, heard you very, sure. uh, very passionately about, uh, you know, your story from Australia to, to coming to Mumbai, uh, your, your, your short car drive, you know, with, uh, with son Namdevi Haraj. So I have, I have, you know, two connected questions, you know, to you, so that, so, you know, what you got an opportunity about, you know, let uh, let more people get that opportunity. How could one contribute, you know, towards, uh, you know, the growth story that you are having, you know, so awful education and sure. uh, purely, you know, how do we connect, you know, to you if you want to be part of this story, you know, going forward? Well, thank you very much for asking that specific question. And it will be an honor to really share that. Uh, and I can give you some examples of how people are, at this point in time, contributing not only from India, but also around the world, including people from Europe. Um, so I'd like to share that with you, but I just want to touch back on what Shekharji said that um, Seva is what we are all about and everyone's into that, you included. Uh, but it's a very important aspect when you're talking about Seva, that the Seva has to start on a community level. And this is exactly where Sarkar so wanted us always to go to the community level. And this is what I've also learned from the childhood, because I strongly believe from my father's words that if you want to start, you know, strengthening your, your um, country, it all has to start from that level on the community, local community. If the community gets it right, then the, the bigger picture is that then the rest of the the, the, the state or rest of the country gets strengthened. And I think this is where it is so aligned uh, as far as Seva is concerned to go into those community levels, particularly in the rural part of the community. Coming back to your question, uh, Simanji, uh, talking just a little bit on contribution, how you can, for example, Kesri Creation, when we decided to go on to give this platform uh, on a commercial platform, for giving the opportunity for our students to showcase their products. Um, we, we obviously are at a very early stage, but what we thought is a good idea to get thoughts and ideas from people around the world. And by the way, uh, our dream, our dream really is Kesri creation. Uh, by the way, the word Kesri creation comes from Kesri Poor. So the Kesri creation represents the kids of Kesri Poor. And Kesri Creation hopefully one day becomes a brand, not only an Indian brand, it becomes a gold brand. This is our dream. And amazingly, people have come forward to support us. Um, as you know, with anything and everything in the world, 
products can be the best, but it needs to be marketed well. Um, yes. I'm very, very uh, happy to share this thought that there are a few bunch of girls, uh, ladies who are actually uh, in very high end positions in international marketing, including uh, places like um, Unilever, uh, some of the leading advertising agencies, some of the leading, uh, um, you know, online entertainment industry, where they have a lot of know how in the marketing, di digital marketing side of things. So they've actually come forward and said, how can we help you to take these products globally? As we speak, we've had two or three sessions with them already, talking to us from Amsterdam and from London. Um, they come uh, on sessions with us on Zoom, talk to Rita ji, myself, Shekhar ji, and also the team back in Varanasi, the two, two ladies who are the trainers and try to, to do brainstorm and think of putting you know, together some identifying some products, not only in that aspect, but particularly on the marketing side of, uh, of things, they are contributing. So anyone out there who's got any skills around uh, any, any sort of business acumen where they can actually come forward and say, give us uh, some sort of you know, advice or some sort of direction will be highly, highly appreciated. Okay, okay. Okay, great. So, and, uh, and sky is the limit for that because I think <laughs> the opportunities are so massive. So massive. Just sorry to, to end up there. Just to give you an idea on case recreation, it was not only about garments, but we are also yeah. now looking at uh, uh, not, not only about Indian garments, we are looking at a theme that these um, girls who are helping us from Europe are putting together. They're coming up with a, a, speci a specific theme uh, to sell it into the Western world, uh, more on the, uh, on the beach uh, theme. Uh, besides that, we're talking also about putting some accessories such as uh, carry bags, uh, cushion covers, and, and things like that as well, which will be all, uh, you know, uh, very easy to complement each other when we do these products. And like Rita ji said earlier, we are going to involve a lot of the local weavers in the villages. Mm -hmm. And I think if we can have uh, the weavers part of the entire process, then it really, really aligns so well as far as the community support is concerned. So we are using the weavers in the villages, allowing them to uh, to give us the materials that is required for these kids to actually put garments together or any of the access together. Uh, so it's it's a model that uh, Sarkar Namdeji has always talked about. He's very, very much into this thought of having a model which is cooperative model. And I think this is where we are trying to work towards that we can engage as many people as we can in the village where we have different sections of people involved in, in some products that we can put together and we can be selling that to, to the world. Okay, okay. Thank you. Thank you, Robinji. You've been very humble. You didn't ask for funds. You said bring skills. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's even more interesting, uh, you know, uh, completely, completely in, in, in line with what you said. Kitaji, last last question to you and uh, probably, you know, I'll take if there are many more any more questions. If I want to gift my mother a Banarsi sari next time, yes. do, are, are we ready at Sadafal Education? Can we buy a Banarsi sari from you next time? Absolutely, absolutely. Manji, let me tell you, okay, we are working on this. In fact, we have done a lot of work also on this. The products are being made. They are all the women, Indian women traditional uh, garments. And the, of course, they are all of the Banarsi silk only. And the Banarsi silk saris, this will go as season one from us. Season okay. two, we will decide later on on which other state to go up to. But initially, our season one is, uh, we are already completed with a uh, big number of products, which will be put up on our, uh, will be provided on my website, which Shekhar Ji spoke about. So definitely, I will take the order of your mom. <laughs> Let her be my first customer. Yes. So Thank we are mom. looking forward and uh, yeah. we appreciate if uh, the people who are watching us and listening to us, 
if they can help us in this manner. So that will be a great help to my students, my uh, Sadafal education, nothing like it. Again, the seva from your side will come to our seva. Indeed, indeed. I think so, many so of I us... Didn't know, I didn't know that she's a seller too. So there you go. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the charity begins at home only. So let me start. Very true, very yeah. true. No, indeed, I think I think many of us would actually love that opportunity, you know, of of, of doing our, you know, little bit, uh, you know, for these young girls, you know, who yes. you're so passionately, you know, yes, training yes. them and, um, and, you know, bringing them, you know, to the mainstream in the society. Uh, I really loved, you know, the idea you talked about. Uh, not everyone, you know, is in the current situation is able to manage a job. But I think what you're doing at Sadafal Education is to is to sort of, you know, generate self-employment, you know, and giving them skills that can only get better, you know, with time, with each Absolutely. each each production, you know, cycle. So excellent. I think, uh, I think I've covered, you know, most of the questions, but I can, I can still see this one more uh, question, you know, that I have uh, just received is to, this, this is a bit different question. And I think it's a very interesting question is that, see, many of us, you know, are very inclined to do this, right? But there's always this question about time. Do I have time to do it, right? So please help us, you know, how did you all find time? You know, I, I know Shekhar Ji for many years. Uh, he He's from a hotelier, you know, to to audit quality, very busy person. I, I know that. Robin Ji, I know you for a good number of years now. Rita Ji, I've heard about you, about, about your career. How did you find time, create time, you know, to do this so passionately? Please help us with that. Absolutely. I'll, 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 I'll give so you a very... Some, somebody asking me, Ramanji, please let me answer this. I'm so eager. Okay, okay. Please, please do. <laughs> Actually, it is the all not having time is here. You need to take out time for something. If you are uh, Ramanji's favorite uh, thing is, if there is a will, there is a will. So the time comes there. It is not that you can find time. If you want to find time, you find time. And for me, my me time is giving time to my sadhafat. That is my me time. And my that me time takes me to ask together, which I enjoy. And I really mean it. I'm blessed to be a part of sadhafat education. And I should breathe that last. That's my only way where I can do a seva. Yes, Ramanji, yeah. now you speak. No, very quick one. Uh, this question was asked to us very recently also. My very, it's a very simple answer to me. Is I go back 50, 55 years back. My father had to travel from one end of Mumbai to go to work to the other end of Mumbai. Five to six days a week. Um, very little resources. And the same with my father-in-law. Um, they would only have one day in a week to spend with their family because invariably they'll get up in the morning, come back pretty late in the evening by the time they catch the buses, trains and all that and come back. But even in that one day, I do remember my entire childhood, there was not a single day where there would not be a little meeting in my you know, little house veranda we had outside. There'll be invariably local people coming there and discussing about what all we want to do in the local community, right? If they could find time, one day, not even a day, I would say even half a day, if they could find time in those days without any technology support, without any other uh, financial support, they could do that. The simple question I ask myself, why can't I do it? Okay. So time is... As Rita Ji said, it is all here. If you want the time, you can create time. Excellent. Shekhar Ji, can't end it without your, your, your inputs on that. <laughs> <laughs> all I can say is that uh, we must consider ourselves blessed that we have this opportunity to make a difference in somebody's life. So there's nothing more important than this. Everything else happens. You get up in the morning, you do your job. All those things happen. But that is, your life cannot be limited to that. So this is a golden opportunity. We don't want to miss a second of it. So I would like to say. <laughs> excellent, excellent. So well, so well summed up and summarized by all three of you. I think it's, it's been so much learning in, in this session. 
you know, for all of us. Uh, so before, you know, I think uh, uh, I, I, I offer my word of thanks to all of you. I would still like to open this up, you know, for our audience who have joined us. If any one of you would like to sort of, you know, ask any question, you know, to our to our great panelist here, uh, this is your opportunity. I request the um, uh, the admin team on the backside to allow people to unmute and ask any question they would have before we move to the next. Anyone you would like to raise your hand if you have any question, please uh, do so. This is your opportunity. I think I think everyone is truly inspired and motivated with all that you've shared uh, with all of us. So uh, I think I'll move towards, you know, now, uh, assuming there are no more questions. Uh, Maybe, uh, uh, Simanji, yeah, sorry. Simanji. Yeah. I was Simanji, waiting if someone, if somebody would say, then <laughs> I'd keep quiet, but, but I think let me uh, raise my voice here. <laughs> sorry. Uh, it was really very nice hearing all three of our speakers today. Thank you very much for uh, sharing your thoughts, first of all, I think. And uh, these are the things which probably we all want to hear, I think. Uh, the most important thing is what I learned today is uh, we all want to do something, but where is the platform? Where is something where we can do something? Here, one thing I really understood is it's not just about helping out someone. I think it's more about giving them the confidence, bringing them to the level of equality with self-respect i think that is the one of the most incredible thing which i am hearing from all three of you but one quick question i have is i think uh, partially it was answered also but maybe uh, down the course we will have more clarity if somebody who is sitting outside somewhere thousands of kilometers away and uh, they want to contribute one way or another as all of us know uh, being physically present at one place frequently may not be possible for many people, but uh, still there could be many different ways through which one can contribute to this wonderful initiative, what we have in Sadaqal education, how one can contribute even a small to small way or large, to large. maybe there may be simple example I'm thinking of, is it possible that if someone wants to uh, create some documentation kind of thing, or maybe somewhere someone needs to type something or maybe somewhere uh, they have some fundraising activity or there can be many different ways through which I think many people can contribute. So is it possible though for those who are not yet connected with Sadafal education to get quickly connected with and, and um, start uh, their effort to contribute in one way or another which we definitely call it as a seva. So what are the different ways through which one person can get associated with Sadafal education please? Shekhar ji, uh, request you to unmute. Sorry, can I, uh, I would like to just uh, give a little bit of clarity on this one. At this moment, I think the most important thing for us is that we come up with uh, more meaningful programs which will help people get into the workforce as quick as possible. So I know many of our uh, uh, colleagues and uh, individuals who are participating today are all of us are professionals in one or the other field. If anyone can help us, there are many ways. If you can help us in uh, coming up and developing a short course, which we can train these kids and help them uh, grow into a proper career, please come forward and help us. I'll give you an example. Someone can uh, give us a program on web development. Someone can give us a program on desktop publishing or something related to computers or something related to tangible ways they can people can get into the workforce quickly. That will be a massive contribution. Second way to contribute would be if you know a location or someone is looking to do these things but don't know how to do it and would like to work with Sadafal Education, uh, we can certainly help them because ultimately it is not about uh, anything, it is about helping the communities grow. We can do that. The other thing what we can do is, uh, as we mentioned about the case recreations, 
So the the product of our of our students, which is being placed, are being available. Uh, if you would like to uh, help us reach out to more people who would like to buy those products, uh, so then that is also going to contribute towards our mission because all the proceeds which comes goes between goes to these those students who have created those garments plus the additional proceeds goes towards enrollment of other uh, students who are in absolute need of enrolling in this place so uh, this would be, these are these are the basic ways i can think of at this moment in which you can help us give us ideas give us suggestion how we can grow we want to go to at least 10 to 15 centers in the next two years time but how to get to that stage uh, anyone who can help us guide us we are more than open for that yeah shaker if i can just add there please yeah yeah please please yeah. Ravindji, please go ahead. Uh, thank you uh, the other thing that we like to to let everyone know and this is where you could probably think of contributing in a way uh, we are not restricting ourselves with the basic skill development we are doing right now uh, the bigger picture is in a lot of other uh, other fields and other disciplines as well. We're looking at several other um, employable skills that we can provide them. And fortunately, because all three of us come from background, particularly vocational background, we have certain plans in certain other disciplines. One of the areas which we would really like a little bit of help, if any or no, any one of you can suggest or even think of connecting us is, I really feel that uh, in the rural part, if we can impart some very basic blue collared skills, as in, I'll give you an example of something like a basic welding skills, or maybe some ba basic uh, fitter skills, or anything connected to hands on blue collared skills that can be developed. We have limitations uh, as far as that area is concerned. So if you have any know-how, if you have any advice or any sort of direction that you can provide us, we'll be very, very happy to look into it and we can collaboratively work on that. Sure, sure. Thank sure, you. Robinji, I think, I think we have heard you very clearly on areas that you are, uh, you, you seek people to come forward and and contribute. I think there's one question that has come in, which I think is going to make three of you very happy. There's Navinji, uh, you know, from from Coimbatore. He has asked, "How can I start in Coimbatore area?" So, so wow. there are two parts to this discussion. <laughs> one, someone is willing to come forward. Number two, you just spoke about the number of centers we'd like to expand. So, if if someone you know from the group, someone who's inspired would like to take Salapal education in the city where they are, uh, could you share some light on how? Uh, that can go ahead. I think uh, what we can do is that we can have a dialogue to understand because as we did here as well, we first understood the region, we understood the industries, we understood the cohort whom we are going to help and what are the limitations and what are the special skills which are required there. So we would like to work with you Navinji to understand those things, where you would like to do the space, the location, the types of audience we want to attract and then certainly between us, we have uh, enough uh, knowledge of different types of programs, which we can work together and, and start. So open for that. So more than happy to communicate with you and uh, get more details and we can have a proper discussion about that. Sure. Navinji, if you can, if you can hear the response to your question, if you'd like to unmute and ask anything or share, please feel free. Uh, you can unmute yourself and interact with the panelists directly. Or if you feel the question is answered, then I think we can connect you directly, you know, to the team. Okay, good. So I think we uh, thanks again, you know, to to all of you. This is my uh, uh, my part and of yeah. Sorry. Yeah, Navinji, okay, you are yeah. here. Okay, fine. <laughs> yes, sir. Good day. Please, please. Yes. Yeah. yes. I am also associated with Vihangam Yoga for a long time, mm -hmm. and it was my burning desire how to help the society. And I'm fortunate enough today, and I thank some Subhashji and the whole team, global team, that I found a way. And now I think with three of your support, I may be able to start up. And uh, Sarkar and Swamiji all will bless. So I'll be in touch with yours. 
with you all sir and i'll try to get the details from uh, subhash ji or prakash ji whatever way and we'll be in touch sir sure thank you very much sir yes sure ravi ji I'll, i'll contact you soon thank you excellent so i think i think you know it's been a great session for all of us you know who could who could join i think uh, there is who couldn't be joining uh, couldn't join today you know will will benefit from the from the recording you know of the session uh, i think you know as i as i give the word of thanks i think there are some very very uh, important messages you know that that stuck to my mind which i thought you know would be good to repeat very quickly and that itself you know shows the Uh, the courage, you know, that that three of you under the uh, you know the visionary Sir Namji Maharaj, you know, you have taken forward. I think the one one of the things that uh, all of you you know sort of resounded was you know the combined eagerness you know to come and serve. That that's the the sort of you know starting point. It was very clear you know from from all three of you that without having you know the eagerness to serve, okay, we cannot proceed in 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 taking you know such a challenging path. So I think. Uh, so so nice, you know, for all of you to bring that out. Uh, Shekhar ji, you mentioned at the start that uh, uh, Sir Namdev ji Maharaj mentioned to you go to places where no one else is going. Uh, I think you know that 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 statement, you know, that 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 uh, Sir Namdev Maharaj Maharaj has shared and and you brought us, you know, to this uh, to this forum is is really the sticking point. That is easy to go and serve in places, you know, where there are. you know at times more it's very easy to come you know forward with a program you know that you can do in a city right and uh, and and you will not have that impact the challenge is really uh, you know when you go to places okay where there's no one there and uh, and you do, and you all of you have been able to do that you know uh, i'm definitely want to go and visit the city that you talked about near varanasi uh, so very nice you know thanks for for sharing that enabling livelihood of people generating self employment and there's something that you know uh, rita ji uh, kept mentioning you know throughout you know her her 10 to 12 minute of session was uh, she used the term you know every day she does something every week she has a plan every month she is doing something every six months there's a graduation now i think this i think you know this this word every which tells about repetition tells about frequency tells about periodicity of doing things again and again is what really brings momentum you know in 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 any in any mission and uh, i think you know that's what we are doing also in the global meditation challenge is to do the same things you know on a frequent basis which is what brings momentum it brings action um, nonetheless i think uh, uh, we cannot take away the aspect of you know the blending of this team the way i see it uh, you know uh, from from hotelier to an academician to you know uh, someone who has been on ground as a teacher uh, the team you know work is also equally very important so i think these are some great messages that you brought you know in today's session and i think my word of thanks you know is is to that you have brought out you know this for us to understand uh, really thankful you know to all of you um, i would like to recognize and honor you know the presence of the visionary who has also joined us today uh, sant namdev ji maharaj uh, sarkar thank you so much you know for joining us and encouraging you know uh the team you know today so thank you all uh, i think you know we are now at the uh, last leg you know of our uh, session today and before you know we move to shanti park uh, there are some important points to note as you can see on your screen uh, this is again part of uh, you know repeating ourselves meditating daily submit your reports daily and and push yourself in bit adverse conditions it's so it's so so i think you know today's session is all about that you know how they have been able to find time to do this uh, is because they push themselves they 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 have subjected themselves to some level of complexity and if you're going to do that i'm sure you know all of us will have greatly you know to contribute you know to this mission and attend our sessions uh, thank you thank you so much i think with that uh, i would now like to you know invite you know uh, uh, gajendra ji from czech republic you know for for the shanti part yes rudev and thank you simant ji sansi ji sashtang pranam aap sabhi ko mera sadar pranam shanti part 
हे प्रभु शांति स्वरूप हो शांति शांति में शांति 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 जन शांति हो पूर्ण शांति में शांति हे प्रभु शांति प्रदान कर दूर हो सर्व शांति देव सदा फल शांति मय शांति शांति सुख शांति जसुदेव thank you thank you so much gunji for the shanti part and uh, i think you know we have uh, successfully completed our session for today and uh, i thank you know all the participants who could make time in your different time zones you know to become part of today's program uh, lastly i think you know uh, there is a ritual but we must do if you are here for the first time please visit our website www.vihangamsg.com for regular updates do visit our social media platform facebook page youtube channel because all the previous sessions recording are already available there and I, this is so useful i tell you i missed some of the sessions couldn't join live but i really benefited from some of the recordings that i was able to go back to please like and share with your family and friends don't forget to subscribe as well and uh, again uh, daily meditation report we just have i think another 5 days to go uh, including today um, so i'm sure you know we're going to make good of this time uh, to complete it the 30 day challenge otherwise thank you so much all of you for joining in and santisana from from kenya thank you